and welcome back to another Paul's Aquariums Aquascape video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up this awesome Neo Caradina shrimp tank, complete with bright yellow shrimp, what substrate to use, how to attach plants onto driftwood, how to make driftwood sculptures, as well as lighting, filtration. But first, we're gonna start with the tank. And this is gonna be a fun video. We're going to aquascape and set up one of these Dymax GS series aquariums. If you haven't seen these little tanks before, they are low iron glass. Super, super awesome. They come with a little glass lid that goes about two thirds of the tank. So there is a gap at the back that you can use for hang on filters, all that sort of stuff. It also has, oh, and if we can get the base off it, there we go. It also has a foam pad already attached underneath the tank so you don't have to worry about foam or anything like that. I think this one is roughly 35 centimeters by 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters. I think it's about 14 liters or so. We're gonna start the substrate layer with aqua earth. We're gonna do about an inch or about two centimeters, two and a half centimeters of aqua earth on the bottom of this tank. We are gonna layer it in different layers. So we're just gonna put the aqua earth in first. Then I'm just going to move it into three different levels. So we're gonna use a high level on each side. We're gonna make a V sort of in the middle of the tanks from one of the front corners to the middle of the tank. And that is where we're gonna place our volcanic rocks. That is gonna tie in with our rock sculpture thing we're gonna make for our shrimp to play on. <laughs> so it'll look like a little sand bed in the middle. We're going to cap off our aqua earth. We're gonna use this stuff here, which is just a nice black pebble. It's important to note, don't wash the aqua earth out. If you do, because it's a little clay ball, it's just gonna turn into mud. Where you gravel, you need to wash out because otherwise you're gonna get dust and a lot of silt. So we're gonna place this in the tank and we're just gonna cover all of our aqua earth. Now that we've got that covered, we are going to wash out some sand. This is just a nice fine one to two millimeter sand that we're gonna use for the front beach area. So now we have our two layers. We have two high layers with substrate to grow plants and a little beachy area. What we're gonna do with this setup is we're going to have a couple of very cool rocks and we want them to levitate in the middle with driftwood attached. So the way we're gonna attach the wood to the actual rock itself is with super glue and tissue paper. If you haven't seen this method, I've got a few different videos on this, so go and check them out. There'll be links in the end of this video. All it consists of is getting your rock, zip tying a whole lot of branches around the rock, and then once it's nice and tight, you can pack a little bit of tissue paper in between the rock and the branch, and then you just need a few dabs of super glue that will absorb into the tissue paper. It will cause a chemical reaction and actually bind them together. Once all that's done, and you can repeat that as much as you want until you get a really cool shape like you can see there, then you just cut the zip ties off and you have a rock sculpture thing. Yes, very weird, very strange, very cool, very, very, very much fun to do as well. One on each side, and that's gonna give the shrimp a ton of different areas to sort of crawl around and play it. The wood will need soaking. I've used Malaysian golden vine. So we're gonna soak this for about a week or so, and then we're gonna come back. This is the moss tank that we set up maybe about, oh, four or five months ago, I think now. It has grown in super, super well, as you can see. There is moss almost everywhere. So we're gonna just harvest a little bit of moss from this to get us going. Fontanalis moss will grow out of the water like this, which is terrestrial, and it'll grow fully submersed. Very, very cool moss. Java moss is gonna work, a lot of other types. They all kind of look the same, just different whiskery bits. Actually, that's a little bit of subwasatang there, which is like a freshwater seaweed. We are going to pinch some of this and then jump back to our other tank. And I have my moss and I have my weird things. <laughs> this is the fun bit. All you want to do is attach moss randomly and sort of wedge it into places. We're gonna use a tacky super glue. So this is the Flourish super glue, which is like a gel based type super glue. Well, it's a gel based type super glue. And we're just gonna squish a little bit around the areas and then we're just gonna gently push our moss into those areas. Super important to not use too much glue because if you use a lot of glue, it's gonna come through the moss and then once it's got contact with water, it is gonna go white when it dries. And that's gonna look kind of revolting. Less is better with your glue. You also kind of want to wear gloves when you're doing this, unlike me, 
it's not wearing gloves because I'm not sensible. <laughs> this is obviously sped up a little bit, but this is the end result. We get moss attached to our driftwood. So once it grows in, it's gonna look awesome. And here is one of our moss sculpture things all done. It looks like rocks stuck together with twigs and moss. <laughs> so I have done two of them, obviously. That is the other one. Kind of cool, kind of mossy, kind of what we want. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to position them in this tank, but we're going to do that now. Okay, they fit, set for that bit there, but we'll deal with that bit soon. And for lighting, I'm going to use a Rex LED 12 inch light. So they're around about 30 centimeters, super bright, super awesome. Got a little touchy thing switch on the side of it, as you can see there. Very, very bright. We're going to turn it on. Yep, that is definitely, definitely bright. <laughs> now we're going to sort out filtration. We're going to use a Slim Flow SF240 filter. A little bit bigger than their smaller model. This is the second size up. A little bit more filtration. Very cool filter. Comes with a little spongy bit on the intake, so your little shrimp are not going to get caught up as well. The intake is hidden behind that rock there, and you've just got one little pipe. You can be super crafty and you could actually glue moss onto that pipe as well so it'll completely blend into your structure. Now that we've sorted our light and filter out, we're gonna slowly fill our tank up with water. We're using established tank water with this. When you use established tank water, you can also use some filter media from the same tank. Adding that to your new filter will help boost the nitrifying bacteria. Technically gonna cycle it a lot quicker than what it would usually take. So this tank at this size will probably support about 30 to 40 shrimp. Shrimp don't produce much chemical waste, so you can usually support a lot more shrimp than you can fish. It is looking super, super awesome. Over the next couple of months, as the moss grows, we're just gonna trim that. There's a bit of biofilm already growing on the driftwood, but that is our shrimp tank. If you enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up so I know. If you've got any questions about any of this, just comment in the comments. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks heaps for watching.